Hi guys, today we're going to have a quick look at how to do some light ray transitions in DaVinci Resolve which should be pretty quick and easy and you should get something that looks similar to this. Uh, let's have a quick look. There you go, some kind of light blast. I'm actually not very sure what to call it to be honest. But um, yeah, so let's have a quick look at our example footage. So basically right now I have, this is in the editing page obviously of DaVinci Resolve. So I just have two clips kind of uh, next to each other and transitioning without any effects. So it just cuts from one clip to the next. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut like a small end part out of the uh, end of the first clip. So let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. If you wanna zoom in or out on the timeline, just hold alternate on your keyboard or option if you're using a Mac and then just use your mouse scroll wheel to uh, zoom in or out. So right now I'm just gonna move the playhead right to the end of the first clip and I'm gonna use the arrow key on my keyboard. I press to the left. Two, three, four, five, six. So I move the playhead back six frames, and then I'm going to use the blade tool to make a cut at the end of the first clip. There you go. And then use the arrow tool again to move around and select the clips. So right now I have a small section at the end of the first clip, basically six frames, where I'm going to put the lighting effects into. So what we're going to do is select this uh, end section that we just cut out and go to the fusion tab. Now, if you've never used the Fusion tab before, just don't worry about it. It's not nothing too complicated. Basically, this is the input, our original clip, basically, and this is the output. So basically, right now, there's nothing in between, no effects. So what, com what, what comes in is basically what goes out. So you just have the original clip without anything done to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some effects in between, and the effects we're going to be using is the Rays effect. So we're going to press Shift and Spacebar to bring up this Select tool, and we can search for different effects here. So I'm going to search for the ray and obviously there are two light rays this is the one that's also available in the um in the editing tab but we're not going to use this one because uh i'm going to be using this rays one rays cir so we're going to just press add and because i was selecting the first node uh, it just adds the effects right to right next to the first node and as you can see right now we're starting to have some kind of light rays effects now if you weren't selecting the first node basically the rays effect would just come into the tab without being connected to anything so all you have to do is just delete this connection just double click and then put the input into the rays effects and then put the output from the rays effects to the uh, output of the, your media basically and if you want to see the uh, the effects at different points of our node uh, node chain basically so let's say we want to see what our original clip looks like we can just drag it into any monitor so drag in here or drag it into here or we can just use the number pad on our keyboard so if you press one it will show up on the first monitor if you press two it will show up on the second monitor so this is basically our original clip and if we want to see our output so what it ends up looking like we can just drag it into the second see uh, monitor or we can just use uh, number two and we will see the output so this is the original clip and this is the the clip after the the rays effects so now what we're going to do is going to put in some keyframes so that at the beginning the light rays effect is pretty soft and then it increases in intensity as the transition goes on right so we're going to move our playhead right to the beginning of our of our six frames so as you can see here this little timeline here is basically how long our actual clip is and the the two yellow bars or lines is basically where we're uh, how much of the clip we're using in our timeline so right now we're only using these six frames again you can just move the uh the kind of the playhead around using your arrow key so right now if i go to the first frame and then press to the right one two three four five six so as you can see this is the sixth frame that we've just cut out at the end of the the first editing section that we want to use basically so i'm just going to go to the first frame right here and then i'm going to click on the raise effects and as you can see in the inspector tab there are different settings we can change of the the effect itself so what i'm going to do is uh, put in a keyframe for the threshold the exposure, the weight, and the decay. So obviously at the beginning, we want our light rays to be kind of like soft and not too intense, there's not much of it going on. So I'm gonna put the threshold, which is basically how bright our footage have to be to have a light ray coming out of it basically. So if I increase the threshold, only the really bright part will have light rays shooting out. If I decrease the threshold, you can see that basically pretty much everywhere we have light uh, rays shooting out of it. So at the beginning, I probably want the light rays to be like just shooting out of just a few areas or so increase the threshold to the to, to one. And the exposure is basically how bright our 
how light rays are so I'm just going to decrease that as well so at the beginning it's pretty like not too much and the weight is kind of similar so basically like how intense the, the light ray is as well so basically you can use the weight com in combination with the exposure to to set how how intense your light rays are basically so at the beginning just kind of pretty soft the decay is basically pretty much how long the light ray is so if the decay is low you see the light ray will just shoot out further if the decay is high, then the light ray will just shoot out just a little bit before it decays and goes away, basically. So at the beginning, I might want the decay to be quite a bit higher. So light ray is just starting to shoot out. And okay, I guess this is uh, what we want for our, our first frame, our initial shot of the light blast. Now I'm going to move the playhead to the last frame. So again, just click on the, this area here and then use the arrow key, one, two, three, and then just go to the last frame. And then for the last frame, obviously now we want our light rays to be really intense, you know, as the uh, the transition is happening. So I'm gonna, for this frame, I'm just gonna decrease the threshold. So that's just like light shooting out of everywhere. Increase the exposure a bit and increase the weight. So it's really intense. And then just reduce the decay. So the light rays kind of shoot out further. And obviously there are no right or wrong for any of these settings. You can just, you know, mess around to get the look that you want. So, but right now just for, uh, demonstration purposes let's say we're okay with this let's have a quick look so the first frame is quite soft and then as it moves to the the last frame where we put another keyframe it's like increasing in intensity right now so if we go back to the edit tab and let's have a quick play yeah uh, this is what we're getting right now whoop and whoop. so basically in the first this is the first uh, clip and then it plays along and it gets to the the six frame section that we put in the effects and then once it plays along and then it transition into the next uh, next clip and obviously what we want is so when it transition to the next clip there are some light rays at the beginning and then the lights kind of slowly fade away so again I'm just going to do exactly the same thing I'm just going to cut out a section uh, here at the beginning of the second clip so we can put the light rays effects into it now you can actually make your transitions as long or as short as you want. So right now, obviously I'm using just six frames, but you can make it 10 frames or 20 frames or whatever you want basically. But usually I like it when the kind of the, the light blast at the beginning is faster than the light blast decaying. So right now, let's say I'm using six frames for the light coming in. I might want to use, let's say 12 frames for when the light is starting to decay, right? So at the beginning of the second clip, I might cut out a section uh, 12 frames long instead. So I'm gonna, again, use the arrow key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And again, use the blade tool, cut out a section here and use the arrow key, select the section that I just cut out and go into the fusion tab. And again, we're just gonna go through the exact same procedure, so again, Select the media in, shift spacebar, search for the raise effects and press add. Again, our raise effect is now added. So you can see like the output on this monitor. If you want to see the, the original clip, you just press one or you can just drag it into this monitor. So this is before, this is after the raise effects. Again, we're just going to set some keyframes. So I'm going to move the playhead right to the beginning. And in this case, we want at the beginning the light rays to be really intense before it slowly fades away. So I'm going to click on the rays effect, go to the inspector tab. And for the first frame, uh, I'm just going to set a keyframe for the threshold, exposure, weight, and decay again. And for this instance, I'm just going to have a threshold really low, increase the exposure a bit, increase the weight, and reduce the decay. So the, the light is really intense and the, the light ray is shooting really far away, right? So now we're going to set another keyframe at the end of our 12 frames so that the, the light ray is kind of slowly decay and disappears. So I'm again clicking in this area and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to go to the last frame. And for this frame, we want the light rays to disappear. So I increase the threshold, reduce the exposure, reduce the weight and increase the decay. So it decays is something like this. So let's have a quick look. So at first really intense and it's, as it plays along the light just kind of disappears. So now we go back to the edit tab and let's have a quick play. Then it renders a bit so it can play it in real time. There you go, you should get something similar to this. 
Okay, that's pretty much it, really. Just pretty quick and easy light ray transition in DaVinci Resolve. Well, using the Fusion tab, basically. But as you can see, it's not really hard at all. And, well, I hopefully someone can have some fun with it, I guess. <laughs> um, well, that's it pretty much for this clip. So, bye.